Today we're going to talk about a fundamental vulnerability of the internet, spoofed source addresses, why it is a problem, and how you can help measure and mitigate it. Simply by downloading this tool, you will be able to help improve internet security. First, a little background about how data moves across the internet. Every bit of information that crosses the internet is sent in a packet with a source and destination address. The destination address is used to tell the internet where the packet is going, while the source address is used to tell the destination where it came from, so the destination can send a response to the right machine. Intermediate routers do not generally examine the source address at all. IP source address spoofing takes advantage of this fact by using a fake source address, similar to putting a fake return address on an envelope and putting it in a mailbox. Now, if someone wants to disrupt or completely disconnect someone else's internet service, they can send packets with a fake source address to that victim. So many packets that the victim has no resources left to process legitimate packets. An attacker can even use many different fake source addresses across many packets, making it operationally infeasible to trace back the attack to its origin, or to block the attack at the victim. It gets even worse. An attacker can commandeer intermediate nodes to amplify an attack by triggering that node to send the victim very large packets, which take more resources to process. The only way to block such attacks is at or near the source, every source, because only those networks near the edge know which addresses are legitimately supposed to be source addresses in packets leaving those edge networks. Unfortunately, such blocking, or source address validation, although a well-known best practice for decades, is an example of classic incentive misalignment, because deploying source address validation is primarily for the benefit of networks other than the one deploying it. And although many networks do filtering, there is no way to comprehensively measure the extent of deployment of source address validation without crowdsourcing volunteers to download a tool that attempts to send a packet with a fake source address to a known server and then analyze which packets make it to the server. That is essentially what CADA's spoofer measurement system aims to do. To implement the spoofer system, we have developed end-user tools and supporting back-end infrastructure to allow us to crowdsource the measurement of source address validation deployment across the internet. We analyze the results of these measurements to target remediation efforts where they can have the most impact. Many networks are using our tool to help fix their own network configuration and make sure source address validation is working. And many other networks have no idea that they have not configured source address validation correctly. The most important thing we need now is many people to run our tool, which should take you less than 60 seconds to install. Once installed, it will run in the background, testing any new networks you visit. We have only recently started and are already gathering tests from 6,000 new unique networks per month. But there are hundreds of thousands of networks on the internet. Let's see how many more we can measure. It's not often you can do something in 60 seconds that will measurably improve internet security and internet science. Please visit spoofer.cata.org and click download on a Windows, Macintosh, or Linux system, and send any feedback to spoofer-info at Thank you for your public service.